What is up guys and welcome back to another ultimate review by Purecast 9. In today's episode, I'm going to give you the most in-depth and unbiased review of the Bolt Airdopes 441. So these are a pair of truly wireless earbuds from Bolt and these are my thoughts. But before we begin, there are three things I need you guys to do. Number one, subscribe to Purecast 9 right away. Number two, hit like on the video because it means a lot to me to see your support. And number three, if after watching this review, you do decide to get these earbuds, please use the link given in the description below. It will cost you zero extra, but it will help me run this channel and produce more and more quality content just for you guys. All right, with that said, let's begin. Okay, so before I give you my verdict of how it performed in my testing, let's go through some of the specs that these earbuds offer. So truly wireless earbuds, they come in their own charging case. Bode claims a battery life of 3.5 hours of continuous playback, obviously not at 100% volume, maybe at around 60 to 70% volume max. Now the charging case itself can charge these earbuds from zero to 100% four times. So you've got backup there. Now these also rock Bluetooth version 5, so that means when you're watching a video on your phone and relaying the sound through these earbuds, there is no latency or lag, which is always welcome. They also have certified IPX6 water and sweat resistance, so if you're thinking of using them in the gym, sweating or even outside, some rain is gonna do no harm. They also have inbuilt microphone, so you can take your calls on these, have touch capacitive controls on the surface of these earbuds, so you can do the usual playing and pausing tracks, skipping tracks, answering ending calls, and even summon your voice assistant, whether it's Siri or Google Assistant. Call quality was A-OK. -okay. I was clearly audible on the other end, and even the person calling was very much audible for me, so no problem with call quality at all. One downside is that while you can do all of these things with the earbuds themselves, a basic thing you cannot do with the earbuds themselves is you cannot increase or decrease volume. So for that, you either have to take out your phone physically and increase or decrease the volume there, or you can summon your voice assistant and tell the assistant to lower or increase the volume. So that's kind of a drawback there. Nothing major, but something you should know. Okay, with that said, let's begin with how they performed in the sound test. Now, I don't just say good sound or bad sound, guys. I always say that any sound that you hear is made up of three main frequencies, the highs, the mids, and the lows. Starting off with the highs, where the really sharp sounding instruments lie, highs were clear, sharp, and there was no distortion as such at max volume, but it wasn't the best quality highs that I've heard on a earphone, but definitely they were not poor as well. They were just adequate. They maintained a lot of sharpness, even at max volume without any sort of crackling. So highs were decent. Now coming to the mids where the vocals lie and make up for the body of the music. Now vocals at around 80% volume, which personally I found was the sweet spot is where they sound the most natural and maintain separation from the highs and the lows. So at that point, at 80% volume, your vocals are sharp, they are bright, and don't sound too much artificially sharpened. But the drawback is when it comes to 100% volume, the bass, which is surprisingly punchy and really, really thumpy, considering that it's only got six millimeter drivers packed inside, at 100% volume, the bass tends to eat up the vocals or the mids. So that is something I found a bit disappointing. But again, the sweet spot is the 80% volume mark where the bass is still really punchy and maintains the thump. The vocals are separate and you can hear them clearly. They don't get muffled by the low end or the bass and the highs are adequately sharp. So highs, mids, lows, definitely good. Highs, decent, mids, quite decent and the bass surprisingly punchy. So for bass heads, definitely you won't be disappointed. But the drawback is at 100% volume, the bass shows a bit of distortion by means of a buzzing. You can hear that when you're playing at 100% volume, but that is only if you need to, because these get so loud, you don't always need 100% volume. 80, like I said, is the sweet spot. Now, one thing I have to mention is that of all the truly wireless earbuds that I've used, whenever I've used this while working out at the gym, if I'm on the treadmill, 
I've always had them falling out of one of my ears or both. This is the first truly wireless earbud that I've used that in my workout didn't fall out. So these ear fins which these earbuds have give you a very snug and tight fit. So even when you're like really tensed or you're working out and you're moving about on the treadmill, they don't fall out. At least for me, they didn't fall out a single time. So if you're thinking to get these earbuds for use in the gym, these are really a very, very good choice. So that's the overall verdict. I hope you've enjoyed this. Hope you found this helpful. Like I said, if you do decide to buy this earbud, and I recommend that you do, it won't disappoint you. Please use the link given in the description below. It will help me run this channel and produce more good content just for you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hit like on the way out. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.